Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we have an iPhone SE in gold that is still running iOS 9. Look at that. 9.3.2. Look at that. Software update. Make sure that's blocked. 9.3.2. A rare iPhone SE here. Nice. And on the other side, we got rose gold iphone se with a huge dent on the top and it is running ios 15.0 and this is the rc build or as we like to call it back in the days the gold master edition build of ios 15. so you can see right there the, the software 15.0 no a or nothing in the last characters and all that and you can see also this i think a new feature in ios 15 the naming is not only iPhone, but actually naming the, the, the what the device actually is, which is interesting. This is the Goldmaster or release candidate build that's released right after the iPhone 13 series. And in this video, we're gonna do a speed test, yes, of the first iOS that is come with the iPhone SE first generation, which is iOS 9, and presumably the last iOS version that the iPhone SE first generation will come and that is ios 15 now i don't know maybe apple will be do some magic and put ios 16 on the se or and the 6s but maybe they will be maybe they will not so we're gonna see a software from what is this 2016 is because this is actually 9.3.2 right and a software from 2021 how does it able to held up on this iphone se we're gonna do some speed test by opening some apps startup times and geekbench tests all right so without any further ado let's go through the video all right so let's divide the video to two pieces so bloop bloop because i don't have the hand eye coordination of handling two devices at the same time okay so on the left we got the se on 9.3.2 and on the right we got the se on 15.0 but yeah uh, the difference between lc build and gm build are there's not really a difference when you know compared to the final release that will introduce i think around september 20 or 21st so yeah they're all both the same build with the rc and the gm build so that's why we're using that build all right so nonetheless let's start the video by turning these two devices on in three two one
Okay, now we're gonna do the Geekbench test. Now we're gonna use Geekbench 4 because Geekbench 5 is not compatible with iOS 9, so we're gonna make it fair and square. We're gonna use Geekbench 4 on all these two devices. Open it up, as you can see right here, 9.3.2, 15.0, and let's just run these benchmarks in three, two, one. All right, so both of them kind of finished at the same time here. And here's the score, ladies and gentlemen. We, we can see we got a little bit bigger score on iOS 15, as you can see with the rose gold. iOS 15 scored bigger here versus iOS 9, which is interesting again here using Geekbench 4. But again, nonetheless, interesting scores. All right, guys, that's for the video of iOS 9.3.2 and iOS 15 release candidate or gold master edition build on the 2SE. I mean, here I still have my iPod Touch 7 Gen or a couple of videos ago, and this thing's still running iOS 15 beta one. So we're gonna quickly compare iOS 15 gold master or release candidate here with the beta one. You can see here, we got some changes on the weather and the maps icon. You can see also they made improvements to the Safari. You can see now the tab has turned to the old style. And also you can see here under settings, we can also change it to the normal iOS 14 style as well, or get back to the new tab bar. And you can see how the design will look like now, the cube versus the little, little pill right there. Also, maybe this maybe on the iPod may be different, but you can see there the settings. This is on iOS 15, it doesn't spaced out anymore with the four inch versus on 15.0 beta one, you can see it's still spaced out. Interesting changes. All right guys, so that's enough for the video comparing the iPhone SE on its original iOS 9 non WhatsApp supported OS uh, because some news saying, oh, the, the SE first gen is not supported. Well, yeah, if you're running iOS 9, but if you're running iOS 15, that it will be supported. This news, uh, this news will like a clickbait news, all right? Nonetheless, there you go. iOS 9 on the iPhone SE first generation versus iOS 15.0 on the iPhone SE, which is maybe gonna be the last update on the SE and the 6S, I may be wrong. You know, Apple will maybe pull some magic here and there in 2022, but man, I don't know, man. I think this is gonna be the last version of iOS on this iPhone SE and the 6S as well. All right, guys, so that's enough for the video of today. I'm gonna restore this iPhone back actually to iOS 14.8 because Apple says they will keep continuing updating on iOS 14 while iOS 15 is out, so I will test that on this iPhone SE. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I will catch you guys on the next video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.